Okay. Napkin. Need a holder. Out of that. Light edge, rustic, napkin, holder. <laughs> okay, you got it measured out. Uh, right here it is, cutting out of here is gonna be the base. And this is one side, the other side, uh, the bark live edge will be on the top of the sides and on the base it will be on the sides of the base. And these will be dadoed in a little bit back from that edge. Give that a try, see how that works out. Okay, both dados are done. So now I just got to figure if I want to round these sticking out here from the dado and then put a round over maybe on the outside edges of these sides. So I probably, I think I'll definitely round over these outside edges first, then see what I feel about if I need to round that off or not. Yeah, I'm putting uh, just a slight 45 degree break on all these upright edges. This one I've done both sides already. And I got one more side to go on this one. Hey, and if anybody's uh, interested in this uh, router table I got here that I uh, made about 15 years ago, uh, look up here. We've got a uh, video that kind of shows about it in a little more detail and how it makes up the uh, this big island I have here for the table saw. Okay, here it is. I got her all epoxied down here in the dados. That worked out well. And I did some 220 sanding with the pad before I epoxied it. And then I got the first coat of water locks on it right now. So it's looking pretty good. I used a little tiny short brush, cheap brush to get it, the water locks in the grain areas. And just a rag on the rest. So it's looking good so far. 
There's Willow. All right, that's three coats of water locks on here now. Rustic napkin holder. Probably one more. Okay, there she is all done. Four coats of water locks. Nice little rustic napkin holder, live edges. Willow wood. Thought I had a napkin in here to slip in there, but I don't, but you get the idea. Napkin holder, rustic cowboy style, yeehaw.